it's not always easy to diagnose IBS just by the symptoms. So also the doctors have sometimes trouble to diagnose the, the IBS in a positive way, which means according to some symptoms, say, yeah, this, it's clear this must be IBS. It is probable, but all, very often the doctor has trouble in distinguishing IBS from organic disorders such as chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract or cancer of the gastrointestinal tract. So, for example, when, if, the patient, if the patient experiences the first time in his life the symptoms after the age of, let's say, 40, 45, then it's always important to exclude cancer, colonic cancer, and to do proper examinations like a colonoscopy to be sure that there is no tumor developing which causes the symptoms. Yeah. The typical symptom in a patient is pain, is often diffuse pain which may change its location and which is related to bowel movements. So the patient experiences pain and has the urgency to go to the, to the restroom and have a, have a, st uh, a stool passage, uh, st uh, bowel movement, I want to say. So usually pain is associated with bone movements in these patients, as is typical. There is, if blood, if, if patients see blood on his stool, this is always a, a possible sign of an organic disease, such as tumor, hemorrhoids, uh, other things, and that always should uh, cause the doctor to, 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 uh, to make an endoscopy, for example, and, to, and other examinations. In, in this case, an organic disease should be excluded. Also, when the patient has weight loss, weight loss is an alarm symptom and may indicate the presence of, of uh, organic disease like, like a tumor, etc. So, uh, these we call it alarm symptoms. These are red flags and which should always cause an examination, a further examination. First of all, a colonoscopy belongs to the most frequently done examinations in gastroenterology. Nowadays, it's a routine examination. It involves first cleaning of the, of the colon, so the patient has to ingest some cleaning solution, which causes diarrhea in order to have a clear view. And then the patient under light sedation is examined with a thin endoscope, and uh, this, this endoscope is is pushed until the small intestine and all regions of the colon are examined in order to exclude inflammation, in order to exclude a tumor. Um, and it's a very important examination. Everybody above 50 should have at every 10 years a colonoscopy to exclude cancer. So it's very important. I mean, there, were, there have been very important uh, advances in this field, I must say. First of all, it has been recognized that diet is quite an important um, uh, tool to treat these patients. Some, many patients have elementary uh, problems. They have uh, um, intolerance to some, some, some nutrients, as I said, some fruits, some vegetables and it should be solely investigated if these nutrients may play a role in these patients and that should be treated. And uh, also, for example, milk, milk sugar intolerance, lactose intolerance is an important issue too. And then many medications have been developed in, 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 in the last years. So, for example, uh, an entity which has always been a problem is IBS with diarrhea, with predominant diarrhea. And there are new medications now which are quite effective to treat that. We know that some bacteria may play a role, some they are locally, not systemically, and locally working antibiotics which may play a role. And more common drugs such as, as spasmolytics which, which, which uh, um, you know, treat these, these cramps in, in the colon uh, are now are since many years available and can be treated. And it's often a multi-component treatment diet with special medications, etc. Nowadays, if a patient is properly treated, 
he can have a very good quality of life and which is not different to any healthy person. Uh, it should be treated, taken seriously uh, and treated properly, not overdiagnosed. Another problem with this patient is that they are going from one doctor to the other and many examinations are done, often examinations which are unnecessary, repeated endoscopies and repeated uh, X-ray examinations like CT examinations and that should be avoided. That also diminishes quality of life. So it's important that the, doc that the doctor is who is treating the patients is experienced in the disease and gives comfort to the patients and, and uh, reassures the patients that this is a disease which is not, which, which is, has to be taken seriously and treated properly, but does not uh, diminish his life expectancy, for example.